All right, quick update on life with 37s on this truck. Um, just had the tires rotated, got about 5,000 miles on them. I have noticed on this two inch kit, they do rub at full lock when you're driving. They rub on the sway bar. Right there, you can see that little indent. Again, that's the only trimming that I had to do right there. They're holding up great. There's no chunks missing. These are with 5,000 miles on them. They're still like new. Um, I have noticed a couple little things with them. They do get a little noisy above about 75 miles an hour. Other than that, they're great. Um, I noticed the biggest thing on this truck with the 37s is on D cell. It's almost like you have a little bit of an engine braking type deal going on and it's just the, the rotating mass of the tires. Um, doesn't bother me at all. Just the only really drivability issue that I've come across, the only difference anyways. But um, other than that, man, they're, they're great. Uh, notice about a mile per gallon less than with 35s. And other than that, there's not a whole lot of difference. Um, they're holding up good, quiet, still like them, still happy that I did it. Um, towing wise, I have noticed, I have, I've got three trips. We're heading out to Yosemite today. We've got fires in the area, so it's bad, but. Um, so where are we at now? miles I think I need to do my fuel filters today but um yeah 63,000 I think I put these on at 58,000 um towing so I've towed to Tahoe which is about a 6,000 foot climb I went on a long trip up north about 400 miles each way up the coast almost to the Oregon border um, and we've also done a trip to the coast out to like Dillon's Beach area so three towing trips pulling the trailer um, I will say none of those trips were loaded down with the razor and everything in the toy hauler they were just camping trips with hookups so I'm, I was probably about three or four thousand pounds lighter than I normally would be you know I'm not hauling water but tow, towing wise, man, I really don't notice any difference. I don't see the need for gears at this point. Um, yeah, I, I, even on the freeway, there's really no difference. Um, you know, got into some sand a little bit here and there, you know, um, down at Dillon's Beach, the, the traction of them was just fine. But towing wise, I don't think at this point I'll be re-gearing. I have some thoughts of maybe uh, upsizing to a, a big fifth wheel toy hauler. At that point, we'll see, um, you know, how heavy I get and if it's needed. But thus far, man, towing wise, it's totally fine. I don't, I don't notice any difference in the 35s and 37s towing. So, um, if you're on the fence on whether you're going to do it, and you know, if if you if you tow a trailer for a living every day, obviously, it's probably not a great move for you. Um, you wouldn't be doing 37s in the first place, but for those of you that are on the fence for 35s or 37s and, you know, are really wondering what the drivability difference is going to be, the towing difference or anything like that, it's, it's really not much of a difference. I say just the overall look of them, I think it looks way better. And then also the off-road performance capability was in the sand really was my only thing for this. You know, you get, get much more surface area on the ground, traction is going to be better. So hoping that Pismo opens up soon. We'll do a Pismo trip this fall. Um, they're still closed due to COVID and I'll do a, uh, do a trip out there and I'll definitely do a review of how these things do in the sand, getting through there when they get aired down and all that. So take care.